Good afternoon, everyone. It's Margaret Martin here with your Mindful Monday. Yes, we're trucking along in May, and in May, our theme is LinkedIn Tips. And if you've been following along, you've seen we've covered several different sections of your LinkedIn profile and how you can improve what you are putting in there from your headline, of course, the picture that goes without saying, and uh, but it sometimes needs to be said that it needs to be more professional. So um, <clears throat> take that, that tip and make sure you get something done um, to update your profile. In the meantime, um, <clears throat> I have a special offer and I'm going to put it out there. It's just for college grads and it starts today through June 30th and I'm giving one third off my resume and LinkedIn services. <clears throat> so if you know of someone, a college grad, who um, needs some help or would like at least a review, um, we, you know, we've got some pricing on that. It's all on my website, which I provided the link and the information here. And so um, again, it's one third off for college grads <clears throat> between now and June 30th. So they've got a month and a half. Uh, so this week's tip is uh, about the about section, uh, the summary. And so what do you put in there? Well, job seekers often put somewhat of what they have in their career summary on their resume. But when I'm working with them, I like to help expand that even more so that you can tell the recruiter and um, hiring managers more about you. If you're an entrepreneur, what you're gonna wanna put in there is what do you do? <laughs> you know, do you, um, you know, to expand what your services are or business owner, tell us about your business, tell us about your products. How can we get them? <clears throat> One of the biggest fails that people have that are business owners is they put a call to action, but no contact information. Really? I, so here's what I suggest. You don't want someone to just go look at your summary and then have to scroll back to the top, click on the contact information, and hope that you've provided the correct information in there so that someone can get to you. So instead of doing all of those extra steps, why don't you just put the contact information at the bottom? I tell job seekers to do that all the time because why do you want a recruiter to have to take extra steps? They can copy and paste your email address really quickly right from there or your phone number's in there. They can give you a call. Don't make people take extra steps. When they've taken enough time to scroll all the way through and read all the way through your about section so they know who you are and what you do, make it easy for them. Make it really easy for them that they can find the information they need. So in the meantime, if you are one of those people that might want a review of your LinkedIn profile, contact me. Information is, um, if it's not in the chat, it will be in the chat very shortly. So you can always direct message me and then um, we can set up a time for resume review or LinkedIn review, whichever you prefer. And just a quick note, <clears throat> just last week I decided it was time to review my resume. So I have a longer CV that's about three pages, but if I were job searching, it would need to be down to two pages. So I tweaked on it a little bit. I sent it over to my colleague, one of my colleagues, and she did a little tweaking on it too. I'm really happy with the results. In the meantime, I provided that uh, same process for my friend, my colleague, and it, she I made a few little tweaks, make, and she was really, really pleased with the outcome too. So that's the thing is, you know, we have to stay up to date with what we're doing. And she gave me some new perspective as a recruiter. So that gave me some insight as to how to help people update their resumes even better. So in the meantime, we're talking LinkedIn. So have a fabulous week. 
If you need help tweaking, go back and listen to the videos on Mindful Monday here in my Facebook group or on the YouTube channel. Hope you have an awesome week. Thanks for watching. Bye now.